EFNN, The Tiger, Financial News Network. TFNN, Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the first day of November. Nice start to the first day of November, at least at, at this particular point. What we're looking at for the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update is to see where the Dow is, and the Dow is at 54, 32,108. Very nice follow through from the low that was made on Friday, 32,327. The MACD has a lot of work to turn positive, so is the stochastic. Uh, and the nine period moving average is still way under the 14. S&P right now is also doing quite nicely at 14. It actually gapped up at, at 42.08. I remember yesterday I said it needs to get to the 42.08, 42.10 area. Uh, the pink nine period moving average to start benefiting from that turnaround on Monday. The gap up from the Friday low. Now uh, we're looking at the QQQ. And then the QQQ trading right now up to at 352.87. Good action on the on the nine period moving average. Bounce off the 200 period moving average. We'll talk about that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. IWM is it finally showing some strength? No. Nope. Down 50 cents at 163.91. Now we're going to go to gold. <clears throat> And look at the chart pattern and say, wait a minute, is that a peak D? No, it's a peak C1, C2. It acts like a D, but until you actually get a, a sign, a, a better sign, you can't think of it as any kind of a signal. So it's still in an uptrend, doing very nicely and up forward 1997. I just do this real quickly. The GDX is not following. It's up 10 cents, looking much weaker. That's because the gold stocks are not participating. Now you go to the dollar, and this is going to be what you need to follow. Look, the dollar's broken out. I've spoken about this for ages. I've been saying the nine period moving average, holding steady like this is fabulous. Does it break this thing? I'll also talk about that when I get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Let's go to bonds. Bonds are finally having a decent day up almost a point at 110, 12, 30 seconds. Um, needs a lot more, but at 110, that's, this is going to be a test. Whatever the Fed says, must hold 108 over the next two days. Crude oil, crude oil is trading up almost $2 at 82.94, but it's not a great chart at this particular point. I'll be back. Basil Chap, Time Commission's Hour coming up. Check out my opening call, which we've done lately. Be very interesting. I'll be back.